Hello, everyone. With all the planets moving forward and the transits of the nodes last month, we are well advised to live a life of love and passion. Falling in love with yourself and passionately indulging our ambitions can help transform not only ourselves, but also the world around us. The new moon in Aries helped us to initiate and manifest. The Jupiter conjunction with Neptune this month will help decipher our feelings and connect with our heart, which is the route to our soul. The solar eclipse will help us declutter our mental and physical planes. Mercury and Chiron help us understand ourselves and heal. Mars urges us that now is the time to take action. As well said, it's time to be the change that we want to see in the world. Libra. With all the planets moving forward and the transits of the node last month, we are well advised to live a life of love and passion. Falling in love with yourself and passionately indulging our ambitions can help transform not only ourselves, but also the world around us. The new moon in Aries helped us to initiate and manifest. The Jupiter conjunction with Neptune this month will help decipher our feelings and connect with our heart, which is the route to our soul. The solar eclipse will help us declutter our mental and physical planes. Mercury and Chiron help us understand ourselves and heal. Mars urges us that now is the time to take action. As well said, it's time to be the change that we want to see in the world. Declutter your mind and space this month, Librans. It'll be healthy for you if you do a thorough introspection and become the person that you want to be. Changing from the inner core will help you achieve blessings from the higher energies, enhance your mental self, and automatically you'll be able to redefine yourself physically. All the planets are in the Western sector, Western social sector of your chart this month. This urges you to do course corrections with networking. Your seventh house of love is very powerful until the 20th, while your first house of self is basically empty. You need to focus on others and their needs, which is natural for your sign anyway. Your compassion invites blessings from the universe. Personal independence is not strong, but you are used to getting your way through consensus and cooperation. Just keep in mind, selfishness is short-lived. Do good unto others as you would want for yourself. What goes from your energies, they come around back to you. A change of attitude in love will actually determine your altitude. Spiritually, service is love in action. Your eighth house of regeneration becomes powerful from the 20th. It becomes even more pronounced due to a solar eclipse on the 30th, which occurs there. Eclipses in the eighth house tend to be dramatic, so take it nice and easy during that period. This eclipse can bring confrontations with loss, generally only on the psychological level. It's a period to clear out what does not work in your life. A clean approach and start is required. Sometimes near-death experiences are gentle cosmic reminders to get more serious about life. It is short and can end at any time. So it is important to knuckle down to the work that you came here to do. This eclipse accelerates things. It urges you to make important changes in your life. It tests relationships. Also, gadgetries, they behave erratically because of the cosmic energies. So forewarned is always being forearmed. And of course, for all the lucky dates, the best dates, the career dates, honey days, money days, you need to visit my website. Till my next, stay blessed.